So hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So I'm with Levi. Hey, hey buddy. And we're at the uh, RAG Company headquarters. How are I you? I can't believe you made it all the way over here. It's nuts. By the way, I <laughs> went 24 hours without sleeping, so all this plane ride and stuff, but it's fine. I slept nine hours yesterday. So uh, what we're here today, we're going to geek out on microfiber towels. Yes. Absolutely. So Levi is the resident detailer at the RAG Company. He's been detailing for over 20 years, so he has the experience and knowledge. But more importantly, he knows all the specifics and the technical aspects of microfibers because I, for one, before I knew all these towels existed, thought all the microfibers are made the same, but they're not, right? They're not. So there are a lot of differences. And what I want to do today for you guys, and I think this is an important video, is kind of demystify all of this. You're going to see in the end, it's not that complicated when you understand the basics. So we're going to go through a bunch of different towels, weaves, what is GSM, thickness, plush levels, all that kind of stuff. And in the end, we're also going to present two kits. So uh, kind of starter kits for people who are value oriented. So yep. on the lower end of the, the scale and the budget. And also for uh, DIY enthusiasts or people who just want the best of the best, another kit that we're going to suggest for you guys. So um, Levi, if you want to start us off and just talk about the, well, the specifics. Uh, yeah, there. so we broke up. This is just a, you know, a basic uh, lineup of everything that we have. Um, like most people know, we've been making microfiber since 1999. Yep. So we know microfiber pretty well inside yeah. and out. Um, I thought I knew a lot about microfibers until I spoke to the team here. I mean, I, I'm a noob. Guys, <laughs> they, they know their stuff, so enjoy the sit down, by the way. Kick back, yeah. relax, and just enjoy yeah. it. Make yeah. sure you got your soda with you. And, That's right. Uh, you're good to go. You're good um, to go. So, basically, I've kind of broken these up as to the families of microfiber. Okay. So, we're going to start out with weaves. That is the most basic, simple uh, version of a towel that people can understand and find. Um, so is a weave kind of the way That is the way the, the towel is knit? woven. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, basically to start off, everybody knows this, the waffle weave yep. towel. Yep. Um, waffle weave looks like a waffle, plain and simple. Uh, we've got different variations of that waffle, but it's a waffle pattern nonetheless. Okay. Uh, the next one we have is what we refer to as a circular knit weave. And these are normally known as ultra plush uh, or super plush towels um, in the industry. Yeah. So this is our Everest and our Eagle lineups. So these are uh, your these super are well known yep. Eagle Edgeless towels, the, the super soft, super yeah. plush ones. And they're just a circular yeah. knit weave. Okay. So that's the next type of, of uh, weave. Then we've got this newest version of the twist loops. And so everybody knows, uh, maybe has seen these, have heard of them, have heard of, of their absorbency and what they're, what they're good for. Um, and that's what uh, they are. They're good. They're great. They're just a twisted loop. So basically. for example, the Twistress, which I use to dry vehicles, that's my favorite drying tile, by the way. It is a twisted loop, right? It is a twist loop, right? loop. Okay. Yep. Um, And this is a very uh, old weave uh, in the sense that it was used for mops originally. Okay. Uh, it made its way uh, into drying for cars and towels um, because Twist Loop is a bath towel design. Um, the difference is it's not a cotton bath towel, it's a microfiber bath towel. So by so, design, it's super absorbent, yes. so it makes sense that they kind of use yep. that there. And, everybody, oh, nice. and, and we all started out using bath towels yep. to dry our cars yep. anyway, so it's kind of a yep. full circle, only now you're using a very high-tech, yes. high, uh, uh, high-fashion version yes. in a sense. Yep. Um, then we go into our glass weaves, and we've got varying uh, types. We've got, this is a diamond pattern, uh, or diamond weave, and then this is a herringbone, or corduroy, corduroy. Uh, weave between the different types of glass. Um, they're a lot softer, a lot silkier feeling okay. yep. than most microfiber towels, but again, they're uh, same construction of microfiber, same mixtures of polyester and polyamide. And these and, never uh, lint, right? Which no, is these are lint-free. That's lint -free. why they're, for glass. they're used. A lot of people use them for glass. They use them for PPF. Yep. Um, and uh, uh, some people, they just clean with them. They like the way those those work. So. And this diamond pattern, I've never seen this before. This is new? Uh, it is new. Uh, it's a couple years old. Uh, they started doing this to um, reduce dry drag. So okay. the pattern is designed to uh, when used, let's say you spray your cleaner on your glass and then you wipe, yep. uh, the towel doesn't bunch up. It won't bunch up yeah, like this, right? Yep. We all know that, by the way, when you're drying your glass, exactly. sometimes it'll bunch up, so this wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's the goal of that pattern, is to create, uh, is kind of break up the surface tension on the, on the, glass, on the glass and be able okay. to, to glide across it. Um, then uh, everybody's favorite, the coral fleece, uh, which is a very soft, this is our Minx Royale, but it's very soft, very plush, but one thing that makes this towel different from these Plush towels is they have a bit of bounce 
in uh, a bit of sponginess to the towel. Okay. So I like recommending these for uh, rinseless washing because when you get them wet, they act like a sponge, literally, and they still have that squeezeability, so to speak. Where so you'll be releasing that yep. waterless wash as you do it. So you dunk these in like a bucket yep. full of the wash yep. solution, and yep. wow, Use that's those. pretty cool. Yeah, there is that bounce and spring inside. Yeah, and then uh, this is our pluffle. Uh, we call this a hybrid weave. This is a mixture of our mm. waffle weave and our uh, circular knit weave. So as you guys say, it's like if these two had a baby. Exactly. That's, that's yeah, the one, that's right? That's what this, okay. so you get the benefits of having the plush fibers, yep. but you get the uh, thirst pocket design, the waffle pattern, uh, which allows for greater absorbency okay. than, than the standard uh, type of weave there. Okay. Um, then we've got our little smittens, which are a mixture of different weaves, but they're all twist loops on the back. Uh, so. These all utilize a, kind of a mixture of both types of towels. Yeah, these uh, are super for practical. Different, different versions. We've got an interior version, a glass version, and a drying version. Um, By the way, we'll later on, guys, what, yeah, what I want Levi to do is also give us a bit of usage. So what, what each towel is good for. So we'll have that yep. for you as well. So right? finally, the most well-known weave that everybody knows is the Terry weave. Terry weave. And a lot of people, like we were talking, think that Terry only applies to a cotton towel. Yeah. It's not. It's the weave of how that towel is woven. So this is, is still microfiber. Still microfiber. So it's a terry weave microfiber cloth. Yep. Okay. Yep. And the only thing that differentiates a terry weave, which is why we have a very large number of them here, is size, GSM, and uh, uh, blend. So, okay. So uh, the next thing that we'll talk about is the blend of the microfiber. So these are all the weaves, yep. the different types. Yep. And then we have blends. And the blend is the polyester polyamide content that everybody understands. 8020 is the is the starting point for a premium microfiber. Yep. yep. Um, and then uh, 7030 is the premium blend. So now, the first number is usually polyester. It's always polyester, and then the, the lower number is polyamide, polyamide. content. And polyester uh, builds the backbone and structure of the towel. Um, and then polyamide uh, gives a towel its softness and its absorbency. So a higher concentration of polyamide makes the towel softer and more absorbent. So a 70-30 blend versus a, let's say an 80-20, yes. the 70-30 is gonna be plusher, softer, and more absorbent. Exactly. That's correct? Okay. Yeah. And what, uh, one thing that I find that I like to do is I'll go to big box stores, I'll go to uh, the local Walmart, I'll go to Home Depot, I'll go to those places, and I will find their microfibers in that section, and I will flip it over on the back, and I will look to see what the blends are okay. on the back. And yep. you'll be surprised. You may find a 90-10 version, 90% uh, polyester, 10% polyamide. You may find 100% polyester with zero polyamide, polyamide. content in it. Uh, you may find an 88-12. Okay. There's all kinds of different uh, versions. It's very rare you'll find an 80, a true 80-20. The, okay. the Kirkland Signature Towel is always true 80-20. Yep. But there are other types that are just a mix of different types and different blends. So that's one thing to be aware of, is that I've met people who go, oh, I've used a microfiber towel in the past. It doesn't absorb anything. I don't like using it. Well, you, have the wrong you blend come to maybe. find that they are running something with a 10% polyamide content. Makes or sense. Or a 0% polyamide content. It's 100% okay. polyester. Polyester on its own is not going to be an absorbent material. So. That's one of the things to look for. And so when you buy it, the difference between an 8020 and a 7030 truly goes down to the absorbency and the softness of the towel. So is it a misconception to think that uh, 7030 is automatically better than an 8020? No. So it's just the usage. A lot that of people you have out do, of it. and you know, yeah, we tend because to think people go, "Oh, well, I have to have a 7030." 7030, yeah. Well, there are times where you don't need a 7030 when you're yeah. cleaning interiors, when you're uh, removing ceramic coatings, when you're you know doing your wheels, things like that. You don't need to have a 7030 towel. You can get away with an 8020 and and do just fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. There are a number of detailers that only use 8020 towels to polish and remove compounds, polishes, waxes, sealants, coatings, and have never had an issue. Okay. Um, but there are detailers. I was one myself where I found that on some paints, because after a while when you do a lot of different cars, you find that certain paints are very, very soft. Okay. And yep. in some instances, an 80-20 towel will mar, micromar the finish uh, of a vehicle. And a 70-30 towel, because it's that much softer, yes. it doesn't matter the weave, yep. it just matters the blend. Yep has a better ability to remove the product without marring the finish. Okay. So 
I always like to recommend to people that even if you if you only need 80 20 towels you're doing your job at least get a couple 70 30 towels yeah. 70 30 blended towels yeah. just to have on hand yeah. for when you run into that situation yes. yeah. uh, it's not always a necessity but it is yeah. always nice to be prepared yep and be ready for a situation when it arises for example on softer paints like yep. hondas and acuras are notorious yeah. for that the clear coat is softer than say the german cars like exactly. bmws or audis yep okay. and so it's just good to have that yep. in your back pocket yep. when you need it